Good evening, Norman. I want to start tonight with a message for you preteens, teenagers, and young adults. I know you're bored. I know you're tired of being stuck at home already, but this is a big deal. Please stay home. Seriously. Our number of confirmed cases in Cleveland County has risen to 13, and we know there's more out there waiting to be tested and waiting for results. Our state now has a total of 67, and we sadly have seen our second death in our state from COVID-19. This will pass, but we must take this seriously, and you can help by staying home and social distancing. Fun facts and math to help us take Norman and Cleveland County's numbers seriously, despite only having 13 confirmed cases at this time. Number one, Oklahoma's population is approximately 4 million people. In 2017, Oklahoma City's population was listed as 643,648, and Norman's was at 122,843. That's 16% and 3% of the state population, respectively. Of Oklahoma's 67 confirmed COVID-19 cases, as of today, Oklahoma County has 26 cases and Cleveland County has 13 cases, or 39% and 19% of total cases, respectively. Norman is about the fifth the size of OKC, so in theory, we should have about a fifth the amount of cases they have, which would mean we should have approximately 5.2 cases. But at 13, we have over twice that amount. Now is the time to take this seriously, and I promise I will continue to provide information as I have it. As for other announcements, starting this Tuesday, council meetings will be even more online than usual. The chambers will be open during the meeting, but council will be joining from home via Zoom. Beginning this Wednesday, March 25th, free meals will be provided to any child 18 years and younger at any school in the Norman Public Schools District. The grab-and-go meals will be distributed every weekday between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. in the car line at these sites. Families who drive to the school are encouraged to stay in their cars. The meals will be distributed in a drive through fashion. The grab-and-go packages will include a lunch as well as breakfast for the following day. Lunch items will consist of a protein, grain, fruit, vegetables, and milk, and breakfast items will consist of grain, fruit, juice, and milk. For our small businesses out there, the U.S. Small Business Administration has approved all 77 Oklahoma counties for their economic injury disaster loan programs. Small businesses and private nonprofit organizations may now apply for low interest disaster loans. You can apply at sba.gov disaster. We've had a request from Norman Regional to have supplies donated. If you have any of these items, please let us know and we will make sure they get to Norman Regional. Surgical isolation masks, N95 masks, hand sanitizer with 70% alcohol, protective eyewear and face shields, protective isolation gowns, or ponchos. Again, please let us know if you're able to donate these items. As we see numbers around the world and here in Oklahoma continue to rise, I will be updating our emergency declaration with the following new restrictions and guidelines. All barbershops, beauty parlors, health clubs, or spas, and nail salons are closed as of 5 p.m. tomorrow, Monday, March 23rd. I encourage you all who regularly have these appointments to get your hair or nails done, go ahead and prepay for your next appointment so we can help our businesses through this tough time. The number of people permitted to congregate is now reduced to 10. Finally, retail establishments such as grocery stores, pharmacies, warehouse stores, and additionally, takeout for restaurants and businesses must establish controls to require social distancing, which requires a six foot separation between patrons in line queuing in front of and inside stores. Finally, a reminder that if you are experiencing symptoms you believe may be caused by COVID-19, please call the state's COVID hotline or your primary care physician for guidance before calling 911 or before showing up at a healthcare facility. Calling ahead will help to reduce exposure for our first responders and healthcare professionals. Hang in there, Norman. Stay home and practice social distancing. We will get through this. For more information, visit www.coronavirus.normanok.gov and follow all of our social media channels.